Hey, my beautiful Pisces, my beautiful mermaids and mermen, how are you? It is V. Well, we are going to go ahead and we're going to get started with your March and your April reading. I do have a new camera now. I also am back downstairs in my living room because my, um, my business office is going to be turned into a closet, a walk-in closet. So I'm really excited about that. But anyway, what I want to do is wish all of you a very happy birthday. Happy, happy, happy birthday. I hope that all of you out there have the most amazing birthday ever. And I will make sure that these particular readings for March and April um, are posted about the 16th or the 17th of February so that those of you that are the February born Pisces, you will be able to uh, get some information for your birthday as well. All right, guys, thank you so much for your likes, your shares, and your subscribes. I certainly do appreciate it. For those of you that would like to um, get a subscription to my website, you can go to the link below and you will get, the, I, I'm completely revamping my website, but I'm going to be offering a lot more stuff on my website as well. I've got monthly love readings as well as all of the extended readings for a low monthly fee if you so choose. But of course, as all of you know, uh, I am one busy girl and <laughs> so I have to do about two months at one time. All right. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to get started. If you do uh, like these videos, please like, share, and subscribe. If you do subscribe, please make sure that you click on that little wiggly bell so you will be immediately notified when I post my videos. And guys, I have been doing a little bit of uh, meditation prior to um, getting ready for this reading for you for March and April. And um, also, please remember, this is for Pisces Sun, Moon, Rising, also, if you're looking for information relative to your love life, if you have a Jupiter, Mars, or Venus in Pisces, you may want to listen to this reading as well. All right. So what did I get? Well, I will tell you what I got. <laughs> um, Pisces, you're sick of it. You're, you're done. Okay. Um, you've been giving your love. You've been giving your energy to... Uh, people out there and you're like, hey, where's the return on my investment? What's going on here? And I feel for some of you out there that you possibly did invest in something and you're realizing that perhaps uh, this was something that maybe did not serve you or perhaps it was something that the timing was just off. The other thing I'm getting is um, I saw a red ball bouncing. Okay, so metaphorically, what that means is you're bouncing. Okay, so if you're bouncing physically, okay, great. All right, but it could be a lot of you bouncing. It's like you're like, I'm done with this job, I'm going to another job, or I'm done with this relationship, I'm going to another relationship. I need to see a return on my investment. I need to see that that someone or something or a facility or an organization or a bank or a family member is really going to start putting in a little bit more effort, okay? And if you're not seeing that, you're ready to bounce. The other thing I got uh, for some of you out there is the word zombie. And I don't know what that means. Um, that could be, you know, the song Zombie, you know, uh, by the Cranberries. Also by bad wolves, uh, that also came up. So there's something about wolves or there's something about a bad wolf. So like, um, watch out regarding the people that you associate with Pisces. All right, so just kind of be aware of that. The other thing it could be a zombie as it relates to if you see or if an ex kind of comes back into your life and you're kind of done with it, it's almost like you see through them. You're not paying attention to them. You know, you could be at a bar, you could be, you know, at work, whatever. And it's almost like you pretend that you don't see them. It's like you see them out of the corner of your eye, but it's like, I don't see you. You don't mean anything to me. Uh, therefore, you are outside of my world. You're outside of my universe. 
you know, the only way you're going to get back into my universe is if you show a little bit of effort, if you show a little bit of love. All right. Now, for some Pisceans out there, you did make some promises that you have to keep. So please be aware of that as well. For other Pisces out there, um, it could be, I don't know, I don't know, as far as zombie, maybe <laughs> maybe white zombie or like Rob Zombie is going to make a comeback or something like that. I mean, I haven't heard anything from Rob Zombie in a long time. And I'm a rocker. I'm a rocker girl. So um, I don't know. We'll see what happens. It's pretty interesting. Okay. I did also get like Superman and Superwoman. So I think that a lot of Pisceans out there are done being like the little goldfish. It's like your your teeth are coming out like you're the shark, okay? You're the piranha, okay? There's something going on regarding that particular type of energy. All right, guys, let's go ahead and let's get started. I'm cutting the deck right now, and let's see what's going on for you for the month of March. For your general energies, Pisces, you do have the Five of Swords, this is exactly what I was thinking, Pisces, exactly what I was picking up, bounce. It's almost like, you know what, I got what I need out of this situation, I'm ready to go. I'm ready to move on. You know, this may have been an empty victory for me, but really overall, I feel as though I am victorious in this situation. And for some of you, you may very well be. Uh, work life and financial life, you have the Ten of Wands. While wow, really, really busy, Pisces, I know I am, and I am a uh, Pisces moon and a Pisces sun. So, uh, yeah, I can totally get that. What do we have going on for your emotional life and love life? You have the King of Cups. You might have a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio person that is relatively interested in you. And um, maybe they're holding back their feelings a little bit, but, you know, is what it is. Uh, you might be holding your feelings back a little bit as well. What about your health and your well-being? You have the Six of Wands. Wow, Pisces. So let's go ahead and let's take a look at this. Now, remember, Pisces, it is your birthday month, so you will be getting your extended reading for free. Um, let's see what's going on here. Pisces, I, this is coming up as kind of a love reading here, okay, and a business reading, but we'll get into it. Um, as it relates to the general energies, Pisces, you do have the five of swords. So as it relates to the five of swords, this is all about, I'm hearing nanner, nanner, boo, boo. Okay. I don't know what that means for some of you out there, but it's almost like nanner, nanner, boo, boo. You know, it's like you passed up on me and now I've got more than I could ever dream of without you. Or it could also be where someone around you decided to leave or decided to bounce, okay? And now they're looking back and they're like, whoa, whoa, I think I made a pretty significant mistake bouncing out of here because, you know, yeah, my Pisces might be a little bit busy, and, yeah, they might have kind of kept their feelings to themselves because they were protecting their heart. But, damn, do they know how to work it. I mean, they're successful. So I do see something like that coming up for some of you out there. This is, um, this is determining what you should put your energy into and what you simply need to walk away from. What did you learn from the situation, Pisces? This is certainly coming up. So as it relates to work life and financial life, you do have the Ten of Wands. Pisces, you are very, very busy with work. You're very, very busy with your finances. Your finances are like, yes, they're increasing. Yes, you're seeing a significant amount of money coming at you. However, it's going to take a lot of work, and you feel just a little bit burdened right now. For some of you Pisces out there in the month of March, you may have... Um, thought about a vacation, or maybe you just got back from vacation, but something is going on here where you're going to have to catch up, okay? It's almost over Pisces. If you're doing projects, if you're looking at investments, if you're looking at really what do I want to invest in, what do I have in my budget that, can, that I can get rid of? I don't need to be carrying all these burdens all the time. 
So now I'm going to, once I'm done, once I'm done with this mortgage, once I'm done with this, you know, car loan, once I'm done with this, you know, I'm going to be a little bit smarter about my money because I don't want to be under the thumb of a bank. I don't want to be under the thumb of a mortgage company. I don't want to be under the thumb of anything. I want to be able to do this myself. I want to be able to, um, you know, carry my own responsibilities. And that is what I am seeing here. Uh, for some of you that are looking for a new job, they are, you may very well be the winner. You may very well get the job. The thing about it is, Pisces, is it's going to take a lot of work. You're really going to have to put in a lot of time and a lot of effort into this venture in the month of March. So please be aware, this is not going to be a walk in the park, okay? So um, if you've got an entrepreneurial business or, you know, whatever, whatever it is that you're putting your time, your effort, and your energy into in order to bring revenue into your life, this is something that um, you are definitely doing here and you're really taking a long, hard look at what it means to have the family life, work life, romantic life balance, all right? Because you don't want to be overburdened at work and then have every other area of your life suffering for that. So what do we have going on for your emotional life? We do have the King of Cups. This is a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio person. Could be a woman, could be a man. It doesn't matter. It's just masculine energy. This particular person might not be telling you everything you want to hear, or they might not be telling you anything at all. They're keeping their cards close to their chest because they're protecting their heart. Now, for some of you Pisceans out there, you're protecting your heart, okay? You don't want to be part of drama. You don't want to be part of, you know, these undulations going back and forth and the games and the drama and the burdens and carrying somebody else's karma. You're over that right now. When somebody starts showing you a little bit more respect, showing you a little bit more effort, really putting in the work in order to make the relationship work, then your eyes will be open. And this kind of goes back to what I was talking about regarding zombie, right? So it's almost like um, something going on relative to... Um, I'm hearing the words, how is that possible? How is that possible? And honestly, Pisces, I think that somebody is saying this about you. How is that possible? How can the Pisces stay afloat? How can they do this? How can they do all of this work? How can they manifest the way that they're manifesting and still be successful without getting overburdened and without getting feeling, you know, like they've been hard done by? Okay, this is definitely what I am feeling here. Uh, for some of you Pisces out there. Pisces, you make it look easy, all right, for whatever that means for some of you out there. Definitely sensing a lot of you, even in your emotional life, you are becoming the shark. You are becoming the piranha. You are simply saying, you know what? <laughs> you're all in or you're out. And if you're out, I don't have time for you because I've got way too many things going on in my life to give time to someone who's not going to invest in a relationship. Uh, let's see what else is going on here. Whoever this Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio is in your life, they want to be successful with you. They want to have success with you. They want to be with you. They want to show you off. They want to um, do something to create more stability, to create more success. However, they've been burdened with um, overabundance or too many responsibilities. And maybe they're dealing with a situation that they've got to walk away from. And they've got to know that the decision that they're making is a solid decision. Now, that can be you, Pisces, or that can be somebody else. But that is what I am picking up here. 
There could be a lot of underlying emotions in your emotional life and your relationship life. This could be with children. This could be with a significant other. So please be aware of that as well. So for your health and well-being, you do have the Six of Wands. Pisces, I don't know what you're doing uh, here in the month of March, but you are very successful relative to your health, relative to your well-being. I am sensing for some of you Pisces out there, you're quitting drinking, you're quitting smoking, you're you're removing negative energies out of your life and you're ready to get out there. Now, for some of you Pisces that have kind of been in hermit mode and some of you definitely have, uh, what's happening here is you're coming out. It's, it's almost like you're coming out. I feel like you're coming out of the closet and I know that that sounds a little bit um, particular as it relates to like LGBTQ, okay? Because some of you out there have have been questioning and are burdened and are a little bit emotional relative to, you know, your proclivities, okay? Your, your sexual preference, okay? But you're coming out. You're done. You're ready to be out there. You're ready to launch yourself out into the world. And this does not necessarily have to be LGBTQ. This could also be where you are like, you know what? I've been, I've been back in the shadows. I've, I've been part of a third party situation or I've been part of a situation that simply did not serve me. Doesn't mean it's third party, but it didn't serve me. And so what you're doing right now is you're getting rid of all of that negative energy and you're like, I'm going to relaunch myself as the new Pisces. And it's going to bring you a lot of health and well-being. And this is absolutely beautiful. All right, Pisces, let's get into your energy for the month of April. That was March. We're getting into April and I am going to be doing the... Um, Extended readings for you as well, because it is your birthday month. You are the birthday babies. And generally, the birthday babies have longer readings, so please be aware of that. All right, shuffling the cards, cutting the deck. I'm using the Sandra Ann Taylor deck for this. So what is the general energy for Pisces in the month of April? Man holding a coin for your general energies. What is your energy as it relates to work life and financial life? You do have the fifth chakra, Archangel Gabriel. What do we have going on for your emotional life and love life? The angel of balance. This could also be considered the justice card, so this could be Libran energy as well. What do we have going on relative to your health and your well-being? The healer. Of the ages. Wow, Pisces, this is absolutely beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Okay. Pisces, for your general energy for the month of uh, April is man holding a coin. There could be a Capricorn, Taurus, or a Virgo person that is of great significance to you in the month of April. This is somebody that you're friends with. This is somebody that you are um communicating with in some way, shape, or form. Now, there may have been some sort of walk away from, or you may have bounced from them, or they may have bounced from you. But the thing is, for some reason, they're coming back. And this is exactly what I was picking up earlier. Now, this could be a business partner. This could be a romantic partner. This could be whatever. But it does appear that they're coming back. They want to, they want to communicate they want to tell you why they did what they did, or you want to tell them what you did and why you did it. But for some of you Pisceans out there as the general energy, you are really, really focused on your work life. You're focused on your businesses. You're focused on your business. You're focused on a lot of things regarding this. And you're ready to say, you know what? If you don't value me, I'm out. I am not going to stick around and wait for you for you to make a freaking decision. I've got several options out there, and you know what? I'm moving forward. Okay, now this could be in business. This could be at work. This could be in finances. This could be in love. All right? This is the general energy. 
So what do we have going on for your work life and financial life? You do have the fifth chakra, Archangel Gabriel. This is all about communication. Pisces, a lot of you out there are putting your um, your name out there. This could be social media. This could be texting. This could be communications, phone calls, interviews, whatever it is. You are absolutely getting your name out there. You're making a difference. You want communication. You want to communicate about work and about finances. For some of you, you're very curious as to how you can make more money, okay? How you can bring more revenue into your family, okay? There's communications about this. This could be communications about budget. This could be communications about getting rid of that which you don't need, okay? These could be memberships or something like that that you just don't need and you're not gonna renew it and you're letting people know. You're letting people know that you're like, you know what? I cannot continue to put a lot of energy into this or a lot of effort into this if I'm not going to get my return on my investment. So I've gotta be smarter with how I utilize my energy in order to increase my financial value in my life. All right, a lot of communication regarding your work life, your businesses, um, networking associations definitely coming up here. So what about your emotional life and love life? Pisces, you do have the angel of balance. As it relates to the angel of balance, like I said, this could be a Libra card. So for some of you Pisces out there, you could be associated with a Libra or a Libra could be associated with you. This person, for some reason, is not letting you know what their feelings are or you're not letting them know what your feelings are. But there does appear to be some level of balance here or you're trying to achieve balance. For some of you Pisceans out there, there could be something regarding uh, Egypt or Cairo. Cairo is in Egypt or any place where there are pyramids and pyramids exist all over the world. So just take that for what it is worth. But there is something here. And what I find interesting, if you look at this card, so the angel of balance, she's looking into this vase of some sort, okay? And it feels so much like <coughs> Excuse me, like the Queen of Cups, the way she looks at that cup. And this is about utilizing your intuition to create the balance you need in your life. Really utilize your intuition regarding this person or this situation. Your goal is balance. So on a very mundane level, for some of you Pisceans out there, this has everything to do with... Um, they text you, you text them, you don't over text, you're not neurotic, you're really kind of bringing your energy back because you know what you're worth, you know your value. And now that you know your value, you're the one that's pulling back. You're the one that's not giving so much. You want balance in a situation and you're gonna get it, Pisces. You're definitely gonna get it. Now, this could also be somebody else in your life, but, you know, this is a general reading, so it goes both ways. But for the Angel of Balance, I'm definitely seeing here for your emotional life and love life, something very significant in the month of April relative to two days before, I'll say four days before, four days before and four days after the new moon in April is going to be very significant for you relative to some sort of intuitive hit or relative to some sort of suppressed communication regarding a, a loved one, a, a family member, um, a romantic partner, a wife, a husband, uh, a child, definitely something coming up here as, as well. So please be aware of that. Something about new beginnings and new partnership after a third party situation was ended. It does appear that a third party situation possibly was ended in the month of March and now 
you're able to move forward with a relationship in the month of April. I don't know where that's coming out, but for some of you, that may make sense. So as it relates to April, uh, for some of you Pisceans out there, you do have the healer of the ages for your um, April energy for your healing energy, okay, for your health and your well-being. Some of you Pisces are on the mend. You feel like you're stronger. You feel like you're doing a better job with your health. You're taking care of yourself much better, okay? For some of you out there, you might be talking with physicians, with providers as it relates to, um, to really taking care of your health, really, really taking care of your physical temple, all right? This is definitely what I am seeing here. For sure. Excellent, Pisces. Excellent. So now I'm going to pull some clarifiers for your work life. And I am going to be using the Gods and the Titans deck. I'm bringing them back, guys. I'm bringing them back. So what is the energy for the extended reading? A little bit more clarifying energy for the Pisceans relative to March and April with the Gods and the Titans deck for work and finances. Pisces. Oh my, oh my Pisces. <laughs> You'll find out in a minute. Now I'm going to pull a card from my love deck uh, as it relates. And for those of you that are members on my website, I do do the monthly readings so with the subscription, you get your monthly love readings. And the February monthly love readings are up right now. Okay, if you want to check that out. But let's see what's going on for love for Pisces. For March and April, love energy. What's going on with the love energy for Pisces? Gemini. Wow. Okay, Pisces. And what is the clarifying energy for your general energy? I'm using the uh, visions of the or or Oracle of Visions, visions of the Oracle deck. Okay, let's see what we've got going on here. Oracle of Visions, I believe is what it's called. So we're clarifying the five of swords and the man holding the coin. What have we got? Oh, very, very nice. Very, very nice. We'll explain that as we move forward. There's a mermaid in a bowl, okay? So we'll, perfect for the Pisceans out there, perfect. So what is our clarifying energy for the healer of the ages and the six of wands relative to your health, Pisces? I'm going to be using the crystal ally deck for this. What have we got? Wholeness. And that is beautiful. Turquoise. For some of you Pisces out there, um, to help you heal, you might want to wear turquoise. Okay, turquoise might be helping you to heal a situation or heal something going on with your body. So if you can wear turquoise, this might assist you. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to look at this particular um, card this is card 50, it's, it's number 50, and it is a mermaid that is in a bowl, okay? But you see how her tail is out? I, I'm sensing for some of you Pisceans out there, you've got one foot in and one foot out, okay? And you feel right now like, I need to... I need to expand my world. I've been trapped. I've been manipulated. My value has been taken from me. And now it's time for me to stand in my power and break the chains that bind me, whether that is in love, in work, or whatever. But some of you are definitely thinking this right now. For some of you, you're walking away from a situation in your life in order to feel what it is like to experience life, to, to travel, to, I'm hearing message in a bottle. 
So I don't know what that means for some of you out there, but it's like message in a bottle. Maybe you too means something to some of you out there because I think, or the police, I can't remember. Whoever is saying message in a bottle, I think it was the police maybe. So maybe there's police energy around some of you Pisceans as well. Synchronicity is also coming up here as well. So be aware of that. All right, Pisces, what do we got going on for your work life and financial life? You have Dionysus or Dionysus. This is ecstasy, Pisces. Ecstasy. So, Pisces, whatever it is that you have going on in your life right now relative to your work, I am definitely sensing for some of you Pisceans out there, you could be dating somebody at work or someone at work is very interested in you. For others of you out there, there could be something relative to something you're doing at work that brings great ecstasy. Now, we've got to think about ecstasy as drugs. Okay, so some of you might be in the pharmaceutical field as well. Um, and there's, a, there's some sort of communication regarding pharmaceuticals or there's some sort of communication regarding um, finishing a project that nobody thought could be finished. And you're like, you know, it was a long road and it took a long time, but we did it. We did it. I did it. I put the effort in. Others on my team put the effort in. And now we're going to go out and we're going to celebrate. So I am sensing sometime between the months of March and April that you are definitely going to be celebrating Pisces, a big, big achievement at work. Uh, for some of you out there also, be careful if you are dating somebody at work because you could be one of two people, all right? So just be aware of that. You could find out somebody is drinking at work or somebody comes to work drunk as well. And for some reason, for some of you Pisces out there, there's something about wrestling, okay? I don't know what this means, but there is something about wrestling and there's definitely something about um, physical fitness. So for some of you Pisceans out there, you could be into physical fitness for your work. Or maybe they open up a gym at work and now you're working out before you go into work. But that could be going on for some of you out there. And you might meet somebody at work at this, at this gym or at this work, this work gym. But be careful. It looks like they've got their, they have two people that are interested in them. You and somebody else, perhaps. At work. This is at work. So if you are dating somebody at work, Pisces, just be aware that you may not be the only one here. Okay, so what do we have going on for your emotional life and love life, Pisces? You do have Gemini. So as it relates to the Gemini, um, a lot of you Pisces out there could be uh, dating or seeing or in a relationship with a Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, Libra, or Gemini person. And what I am sensing here as it relates to the Gemini energy, now we've got to look at what Gemini entails. We've got to look at what Gemini stands for. Gemini is all about communication. Gemini is all about social networking. Gemini is all about the truth for the most part. Now, on the alternate side, Geminis can be completely psychopathic, okay? But for the most part, they really get to the heart of a situation. They get to the heart of a matter, okay? So, I'm hearing that song, Forgiveness. We got to get to the heart of the matter. But what it's all about is forgiveness, forgiveness. Whew. 
who sings that song? I don't know, but maybe this makes sense for some of you Pisces out there, but it, but it is coming up here. Um, I'm trying to get down to the heart of the matter, but it's all about forgiveness, forgiveness, whatever that means for some of you out there. Um, maybe you're forgiving a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or Libran, or Gemini person. just to achieve balance. So whether you stay with this person or end up with this person or walk away from this person, the goal is balance. The goal is communication regarding balance. The goal is looking at how your family is affected, how your networks are affected, your siblings, um, possibly short distance travel, sharing the responsibilities between the both of you. That is coming up here. Forgiveness, even if, even if you don't love me anymore. That's the one. So, so Pisces, if you don't love somebody anymore or if somebody doesn't love you anymore, it's really important for you to communicate forgiveness to achieve the balance that you need. Okay? Um, that is what I am getting here. And maybe you're moving on to somebody else. And so what's, what's really important is the truth, communicating the truth, communicating your feelings, finding that balance, letting your feelings out there so you can achieve that balance and forgiving the situation and moving forward or moving on. So what do we have going on as it relates to your extended uh, energy for the healer of the ages and the six of wands? Wholeness. Beautiful. So for some of you Pisces, I heard some of you Pisces out there are getting pregnant. And I know there's no pregnancy <laughs> cards here, but you're getting pregnant. Okay. Uh, some of you, not all of you, but some of you. And maybe there was some concern regarding your pregnancy, but it does look like it's going to be successful. Some of you may have to be put on bed rest, so be aware of that as well in the month of April. But that's fine. Don't worry about it. You're going to be fine. No worries. Yeah, it looks like possibly for some of you Pisces out there, you're going to have a baby in June. Okay, or the end of June is what it appears to be here. But as it relates to wholeness, uh, Pisces, this is all about the mind-body-spirit connection. And many of you out there are achieving that connection here in the month of March and April. Let me see if I have anything else that I'm getting. Let me ask to see if I'm getting any more downloads before I let you go. Pisces, there really, really is a need for reciprocation in a relationship, whether that's at work or whether that is in a relationship. You know, it's like um, you give a little, I give a little. You give a little, I give a little. And if you're giving too much, Pisces, you really do need to kind of stay, take a step back and say, you know what, maybe I'm giving a little bit too much in this situation. And maybe it's time for me to, you know, be with a partner that is going to have appropriate reciprocation with me. Or you're talking about reciprocation with, a, with um, a lover or a boyfriend, a girlfriend, husband, wife, whatever, partner. Let me see if I'm getting anything else. Some of the Pisces out there are going to be celebrating. Uh, wine is coming up definitely for some Pisces out there, so be aware that you might be drinking some fine, fine wine, whatever that means. Let me see what else I'm getting.
you know, Pisces, I'm, I'm, it's interesting. I mean, I live in the Midwest and, you know, it's been freaking cold here, but I'm hearing snowshoes. So there's something about shoes that is of significance to some of you Pisces out there and the snow as well. Um, but also it means spreading out the surface area so you can stay on top of things. So maybe Pisces, for some of you out there, you need to keep your options open is what that means. One more download and then we'll finish. Pisces, uh, there is something regarding prayer. Um, whether you're praying for somebody or somebody's praying for you. Um, I'm just, I'm hearing peace be with you. So um, there's like this level of detachment that's coming up here as well. So be aware of that. I'm also hearing red dog. I, I don't know what that really means, but red dog is coming up. So um, that's what I've got for some of you Pisces out there. I hope you like this reading and I hope it made sense to you. Um, I wish you guys the best. Much light, much love, and many blessings. Namaste.